Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because we are going to learn basics of trigonometry. Usually students find trigonometry topic very difficult and we will try that after watching today's video, all the students would be comfortable in the basic concepts. First of all, trigonometry. If I write its name, please read it. Trigonometry, this name, it has its meaning itself. See, trigonometry, right? Tri means three. Gono means sides. Metry means measurement. Measurement of three sides or measurement of three angles. That means we are going to talk about triangles. Because triangle is the polygon which has three sides and three angles. Now, which type of triangle? That is the main thing. We should know that we are going to deal with right angled triangle only. This is right angled triangle which we are going to deal in trigonometry. Now, if you check very carefully in trigonometry, in triangle, I am having three sides A, B, C, A, B, B, C, and A, C. Three sides are there. Now, for these three sides, I can find the ratio of the sides. What's the meaning of ratio? Ratio means obviously division of two quantities, right? In a triangle, if I talk about ratios, that means I am going to divide the sides. That is for sure. Now, what's the meaning of division of sides? See, there are multiple options I am having. You can say, sir, we can divide AB by AC. Yes, we can do it. We can divide BC by AC. There are different ways of doing it. We can divide AB by BC and we can do reverse of them as well. Reverse means reciprocals. For example, instead of AB upon AC, I can do AC over AB. Instead of BC upon AC, I can do AC upon BC and last I can do BC upon AB. So these all are the ratios of the triangle. Ratios of what? Ratios of the sides of the triangle. Since we are dealing in trigonometry, these are known as trigonometric ratios. What do we call it? Trigonometric ratios. Now, no doubt I am having all these ratios. These are known as trigonometric ratios. But how would I recognize them? If I need to call AB upon AC, there should be some name to it. BC over AC, there should be some name to it. Now, what are those names? Let us discuss about those all names now. Those all names are, first name is sine, then it is cosine. I am writing full names because usually students, uh, they rarely see the full names. They usually call it sine, cos, tan, like that. That is why I am specifically writing full names on the board so that you can have a look over them. Sine cosine tangent cosecant you can note down these names then secant and then cotangent these are the names of trigonometric ratios now how they are used that's the most important point that's why we are making this video so that everybody gets to know how to solve it now, sine, cosine, tangent, there are short forms also. Let me first tell you the short form. Just one moment. Let's suppose for sine, I need to write short form. Usually, we write it as S-I-N only. Few students call it sin, which is wrong. It is sine. Just a short form. And this trigonometric ratio should always be accompanied with an angle. For example, sine a, A can be the angle of a triangle, sin A. Cosine will be written as COS, means cos A. We call it cos A. Tangent. Tangent is written as TAN only. Tangent A. A is the angle along with this. This is written as COSCC, cosecant A. Secant is written as SCC only. 
secant a don't call it sec a it seems odd it is secant s e c and cotangent is written as cot so these all are the short forms now once we are done with this now it is how would you remember which trigonometric ratio is ab upon ac which name is given for ac upon bc that is what we are going to learn let us have a look <clears throat> let me make a triangle once again let's suppose this is the triangle we have triangle name is abc right and in this right angle triangle you must be clear that this is hypotenuse side opposite to 90 degree angle is called hypotenuse which is fixed and remaining to this one bc or ab that depends on how we are using the angles for example i am going to write for sin a first of all what is sin and what is the use of angle let's have a look sin is opposite over hypotenuse o means opposite h over hypotenuse now what is the meaning of opposite opposite means let's suppose this is angle a we are using angle a here right side opposite to angle a they are talking about now which one is the side opposite to angle a let me write this is bc so we will write bc here and what is hypotenuse it is ac that is how it is used so do remember sin is always opposite over hypotenuse and if i talk about next cos cos is adjacent over hypotenuse now what is adjacent adjacent is next to the angle for example you are using angle a side adjacent to angle a is ab that means this is going to be ab over ac please read it properly check it properly it's not difficult what you need to remember sin is opposite over hypotenuse cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and third point is tangent tangent is just you can get from the upper two terms this is o this is a just divide them division of sin and cos gives tangent it is opposite over adjacent since i am using angle a what is opposite for angle a bc side opposite is bc and adjacent adjacent is ab so that is what we will get for tangent a sin cos and tangent i hope you are clear how they are to be written it's just the relation between opposite hypotenuse and adjacents which will not take time to learn it once we are done with sin cos and tangent <coughs> i am just using the words which is the reciprocal of sin i am going to write here you will get to know very easily reciprocal of sin is i am writing here cosecant a do remember sin and cosecant are reciprocal of each other sin was opposite over hypotenuse so it is hypotenuse over opposite just reciprocal and for cos if you check for cos its reciprocal is secant and how would we write it sec secant a is h over a because cos were ad cos was adjacent over hypotenuse this is hypotenuse over adjacent and at the end if you see tangent its reciprocal is cotangent a now tangent was opposite over adjacent so it is adjacent over opposite since the way we have done everything for angle a same thing can be done for angle c as well just giving last example which you can just check it out right now 
if let's suppose I am coming for cos C, just a random thing I am taking. Let's suppose you want to find the value of cos C. Now you just need to remember, okay, cos, it was adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Now for angle C, which is here, so you can see this is angle C, which side is adjacent to it? Adjacent means the next to angle C, which is this one, BC. So my adjacent is BC here. Hypotenuse remains AC. That is why I said angle plays a vital role. According to angle, opposite and adjacents are selected. I hope you are clear with trigonometric ratios. If you like this video, then please share it with others as well. Thank you so much.